Hello again, so right hello again, so right now we are taking some video of the moon and uh yeah, I'm out here doing some astrophotography. Here's my telescope right here. I posted a video about this before. It's like a Celestron portable telescope type of thing. And the moon's just going out of view by the Earth's rotation right now. So here it is, here's the moon and way over here, right here, this is Jupiter. So uh, how it is, is this is the moon. It's uh, a waxing gibbous. It's almost a full moon right now that we have right here. It's too bright for this camera to see it. Let's see if... No, this, this camera doesn't like uh, taking pictures of the moon. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the moon. And uh, off here is Jupiter. So if I could spot it right here. So there's the moon. Yeah, the, there's Jupiter and uh, here's Venus. Yeah, so, so this is Venus right here. That's Venus. It's the second brightest object in the sky. And uh, yeah, so, so I turned up out of focus right now. It's, it's really cold out, but yeah, there's the moon, and this is Jupiter. There, we can focus on Jupiter right now. So that, yeah, that's Jupiter. So just, uh, yeah, what we're doing right now is, is the moon just got out of view. So I'm gonna stop this recording. And uh, now we're gonna try to look at Jupiter and Venus. So, yeah, so the Moon, uh, Jupiter, and Venus. Uh. Alright, so here is the Moon picture. I did take uh, several pictures of the Moon, and uh, some of them were in better focus than others. I also tried recording some video, which you'll see here as well. So here's the moon. Uh, this picture was kind of out of focus. Uh, yeah, and th this is actually a video. Y you can see it. It's pretty interesting that you can see the moon slowly move by as the Earth rotates. And when it does that, the telescope goes in and out of focus. And the moon is going to get brighter and brighter as the moon passes by. So yeah, uh, also a lot of the things you're going to see here uh, are kind of wobbly. That is because the telescope mount is just a tripod. So here's an example of that. You can see this moon picture, it's, it's pretty in focus really good when the moon is actually uh, in view, but most of the time it's not. Uh, this is probably one of the best pictures that I have of the moon. You can see the craters are marked out right there. And yeah, those are some of the uh, the larger craters on the moon. And you could also see the mare of the moon. And yeah, so this one is another video. Here's another video. You can see that the the telescope is shaking again, but up in the corner you can see all of the features of the moon. And th this is what I've been trying to get a lot is a lot of the uh, time I spent with the telescope is just taking pictures of the moon. Uh, th this moon right here is a waxing gibbous. I have uh, taken pictures of a full moon before. But the interesting thing is when the moon is a waxing or waning moon, the sun highlights the craters so you can see them better. And when the telescope is in focus, you can actually see the craters pretty good on that line where the sun is. Here is uh, 
a picture of the moon that I actually labeled. So I labeled it with the names of all the visible uh, features of the moon. So basically that leaves you a, a lot of the uh, Mare or Maria, I don't know how it's pronounced, on the uh, near side of the moon. So you can very clearly see the Sea of Tranquility, the Sea of Serenity, the Sea of Nectar, and the Sea of Fertility, the Sea of Crises. Uh, off in the shadow side, you can see the Sea of Rain. Uh, also, you can see Plato Crater and Copernicus Crater, uh, where it is labeled. So, if you want to know what that means as far as Apollo landing sites and other landing sites you could see on the moon that I actually pictured, uh, obviously in the Sea of Tranquility is Apollo 11. Uh, north of that is Apollo 17 and Lunacod 2. In the Sea of Crises is Luna 24, that was a sample return mission. Apollo 12 and Apollo 14 are in the southern uh, part, uh, and on the northern part of the Sea of Rain is Lunacod 1. And those are just some of the different missions that you could see on the moon. So, yeah, so that's kind of what you could see. Uh, here's some more pictures that I took of the moon. Uh, this might be the same picture, I'm not sure, just the unlabeled version. Alright, so now I'm actually trying to see if I could take a picture of Venus, which is much harder than taking a picture of the moon, because um, Venus is a much smaller object in the night sky, uh, even though it is the, the, the second brightest object from the moon, uh, it is harder to point the telescope at and keep point at, and when the telescope wobbles when you're pointing at Venus, it, it it's not as pretty as it is for the moon. You can see that it just basically writes a line and it's out of focus too. So I actually was able to get a better, pretty good image of Venus, uh, or at least focus. Uh, but yeah, so it's roughly in focus here. Uh, though I cannot resolve any surface features of Venus, uh, that's also because uh, Venus's atmosphere uh, blocks out a lot of surface detail, and the atmosphere of Venus is pretty plain, uh, so it's kind of hard to see anything very interesting on Venus. You just kind of see a uh, white sphere. Even the, uh, the uh, NASA Mariner 10 probe uh, which is the picture that I'm showing here. I uh, couldn't really see very well on Venus because of the atmosphere. It just kind of blocks out any surface detail. And uh, unlike Jupiter, Venus's atmosphere is relatively uninteresting and it's quite reflective as well. So this is probably the best uh, video I have of Venus so far. You can see that's kind of yellowish. It's reflecting some yellow light. Uh, that's just the uh, what appears to be the sun reflecting through the atmosphere. Venus, of course, it has the thickest atmosphere of all the terrestrial planets at 90 bar. Which is quite a lot. And it is approximately the same size as Earth, though a little bit smaller. So Venus is quite a bit quite an interesting planet to think about, but as of so far I can't get a very interesting picture of it. So next we're gonna try to take a look at Jupiter. 
Jupiter is even harder to look at than Venus. You can see that it just streaks of white light uh, without even resembling a circle. Jupiter, of course, uh, its atmosphere does have surface features that can be resolved. Uh, even from a ground telescope, you should be able to see uh, the features of the atmosphere of Jupiter. Though, right now I'm having trouble just to get Jupiter in the, in the telescope, uh, much less actually focus it or uh, attempt to zoom in enough to actually see any, anything than a white dot. Really, what I'm just seeing right now is, is, is a white streak. So, also, I slowed this video down a lot. So, you could imagine when I was actually taking pictures of this, it was, it just went in the telescope and out in less than a second, and I was unable to do very much. Once again, this mostly has to do with the tripod of the telescope it is very wobbly. It's just a camera tripod rather than an equatorial mount, which is what you're supposed to use for tracking planets. And you know, also the telescope doesn't have a lot of, uh, it's, it's not zoomed in very much. If I had a Barlow lens on it, I could see the, the features of Jupiter. Though aiming the telescope would be made harder when it's zoomed in that far. So that's that's what I have of Jupiter. So yeah, sometimes I could get it to where it was just one circle. Though even at this slow, it's 16 times slower. Even at this slow uh, slow frame rate. The J Jupiter just still looks like a white blob of light. So uh, I think the uh, the best pictures I got of Jupiter really was when I was was recording with my cell phone at the beginning of this video. At, at least then it was a single point in the sky. So here I'm actually uh, the next video is going to be me recording just with my my laptop camera and that's not through the telescope uh, I don't think it's this picture but maybe, maybe the next one so uh, yeah this is uh, this video is just through the laptop camera so you can see uh, the moon and Jupiter the moon is a really bright object and Jupiter was pictured as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.